the sailing today. We cooked some chicken, but as you can see, it's pretty hard to do. It's moving a lot, but we're gonna have a super good lunch. You also got the bread? Yeah, the bread to, to enjoy the juice of the chicken. Open your mouth. Okay. Super tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Fresh good. bread with chicken broth. Well done. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learning by Doing. Sailing along very slowly, downwind. Um, I should have the spinnaker up in theory, but we've only got four miles to go, and I'm feeling a bit lazy. Last night, we stayed out on an island about 20 miles back that way, sort of an offshore island called Madang. It was beautiful. We're just now sailing to a little anchorage I've seen on the maps on the northeastern, no, the northwestern tip of Sumbawa. And tomorrow we'll do the crossing over to Lombok. And we're finally getting into Lombok, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, this has been a pretty cool little crossing today. Only 20 something miles, pretty mellow. We actually were flying along and now the wind shifted around to, yeah, 170. So it was pretty slow now, but it was a good, good first few hours and uh, as you've seen Marie got pretty motivated this morning and put a chicken in the oven to roast and got a bread going as well so we're gonna have an amazing lunch when we arrive at the, the anchorage we left pretty early this morning so we're gonna arrive there well before lunch so yesterday we met up with a friend of mine from Bali Scott and his girlfriend and the captain and they're on a catamaran and we met up at an island called Moyo and they took us up to this amazing waterfall called Matajitu, I think, Matajitu. Uh, it means the sniper for some reason. Anyway, we hiked up there, it was 7k, got the legs warmed up, and um, man, what an amazing place. As you'll see in this upcoming footage, an incredible, incredible place. We had a ball up there. The water was, well, obviously fresh, but it was super cool, but not too cold. And uh, the light, and yeah, there was no one around, and there was no concreted steps or entry gates it was just a pristine waterfall in the jungle and it, it was incredible so i hope you enjoy this footage and um yeah there'll be some sailing footage at the end and i'll get back to you later bye bye
So now we have a little bit more wind, so we go more speed. Pretty good. Yeah, so as you can see now, set the boat up wing on wing, we're going straight downwind. And this time I got the pole out, and yeah, same, same way of putting the preventer on with the double main sheet. And yeah, that's our um, anchorage straight up in front. And yeah, it sort of feels like we're not moving now, but we're still doing five knots, but it's just uh, flat and smooth, beautiful sailing. little tip when you're taking off and when you're landing fill your head sail point downwind or down swell whichever's better and just try and make the boat as stable as possible and as slow as possible throw it up in the air you can forget about it get going again put your sails out make the boat look racy get her on its side film what you want I normally come back when I've got 50 45 50 percent I start coming back just because it landing is the harder part and it takes you might take you a couple of goes so you don't want to come back on 20 percent and be yeah losing your drone but it's pretty easy you don't have to be scared i don't wear gloves i've never hurt myself obviously it's harder when you've got a big swell but um yeah anyway hope you enjoyed that footage hope you enjoyed this video uh super cool to have you all you guys along especially patrons really really love the um the passion and the the motivation and you know you guys are inspiring us with your comments and all that to keep going and uh 
we love doing it and yeah this journey is freaking amazing so tune in next week no idea what it's going to be but i'm sure it'll be cool and uh yeah thanks for watching bye bye